What's up guys? I figured I'd do a video on how to lower your nitrates in a reef tank. Seems like a pretty common question and there are a lot of different ways to lower your nitrates. So I'll go over the basics. Um, basically people think to lower your nitrates all you got to do is water changes and that's not entirely true. The water, water changes are good for replacing trace elements in the tank such as magnesium, calcium, and carbonate hardness. Um, also, the benefit of a water change is being able to remove the detritus from the system. Because, you know, all the dirt and grime isn't in the water. It's lying in the rocks and in the sand bed and, and uh, in little nooks and crannies. So, basically, one good way to lower your nitrates is to, if you have a sand bed, siphon your sand bed or vacuum your sand bed on a regular basis to keep it clean and uh, pull out all the detritus that settles in the sand bed. Um, if you're running a bare bottom like I have, it's a lot easier to remove the detritus. Uh, as you can see, it's just lying on the glass at the bottom. And I have a pretty good bit of flow in my tank, so it tends to push all the detritus in one area, which is this side of the tank. So every time I do a water change, I just suck that stuff right out, and that's it. I know what I'm taking out, and uh, it's pretty much pretty simple. As you can see over here, there's no detritus at all. Because the way I have my flow set up, it just tends to go down on that side of the tank. So every time, just siphon it right out. It's pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> another good way to help lower your nitrates is to turkey base your rocks. A lot of detritus and stuff settles in the rocks. And even though high flow in a tank does help prevent settlement, you know, a turkey baser can get in places that your power heads just aren't going to help with. So if you turkey base your rocks, you'd be surprised how much how much junk is in there. And, uh, you know, you turkey base, you just get it out into the water column, give your protein skimmer a chance to pull it out. So do that on a regular basis, and that should help a lot <clears throat> with nitrates. Um... Also, what you can do is turn off all your power heads when you do a water change and turkey base the rocks and siphon out all the detritus that's floating in the tank after you turkey base. Um, let's see here. Uh, one of the main reasons nitrates are... Uh, what causes high nitrates in a tank is that people tend to overfeed. Um, people think that you need to feed your fish several times a day because they're always looking hungry. I mean, mine are always coming to the top for food, but you just have to stand up and resist. Um, fish really only need to be fed once every few days. Once every two days is okay. And if you feed every day, that's fine too, but just be aware of how much you're putting in the tank. You know, uh, make sure that you don't, uh, you just feed enough for them to eat, like, for 30 seconds to a minute, tops. You know, you don't want leftover food floating around, because that's just going to turn into nitrates in your system, and phosphates. And, uh... Uh, so, I mean, if you have chromis, like I have, they have really high metabolism and they require to be fed a little more often, I feed them just a little pinch every day, just to keep them happy and healthy, but I'm aware of how much I put in my tank, you know, to avoid phosphates and all that. Um, 
Another really good way to lower nitrates is to have a good protein skimmer. That's one of the most important things in a reef tank, having a good protein skimmer because that's pretty much the main purpose of a protein skimmer is to help pull out all the detritus and, and junk in the tank. So having a good protein skimmer will benefit your reef tank in many ways. And uh, uh, another way to help lower your nitrates on top of everything else I've mentioned is to regularly clean out any filter pads or filter socks that you may have in your uh, filtration because they're going to trap a lot of detritus also and cause your nitrates to go up so you know every few water changes change out your filter pads you know if you have a hang on the back overflow box be sure to change out the pad because it gets a lot of junk in it uh, if you have a filter sock, people, I don't run a filter sock, but people that do say that they need to replace the filter sock or clean it out every other day because it gets so full of crap. So if you have a filter sock, you know, you want to change that out as needed. Don't let it get too clogged up. Um, also, I mean, running a good media in your tank will help a lot with, uh, you know, nitrates and phosphates. I run uh, Chemi Pure Elite in my tank. It uh, helps remove phosphates from the system and also acts as a carbon. So that benefits uh, chemical warfare between soft corals and also helps give my water a nice clear appearance, you know, while also pulling out phosphates. So. That's some good stuff, looking to get in that for your tank, if you don't have any media running right now. Um, that's pretty much it, I mean, just keep up on everything, and do everything I mentioned, and before you know it, you should have uh, pretty low nitrate levels. Just keep up on uh, weekly water changes. And, uh, just get the detritus out of there is basically the whole issue so all right i hope i could help you guys out if you have any questions just ask uh, be sure to subscribe to my video and check out my website reef101.com all right guys take it easy